Hi, welcome. I'm Jen Sackbersuth. I'm in Physician Relations for Scripps Health. Today we're going to take a tour of our beautiful La Jolla campus. We're going to show you an in-depth view of our incredible technology that we have here in imaging. We're going to speak with physicians and staff on their day-to-day -day role here and also get a little bit more in-depth about the culture of Scripps and why it's such an incredible place to work. Now we're here at the Polster Breast Care Center and I have to say that it's a spa-like experience. I'm here with Tiffany, a mammography tech. Tiffany, what can you say about this incredible space you have here? Well, we offer um, 3D tomosynthesis mammography. We've had this technology for several years. We're one of the first sites in San Diego to have it. So what this does for our patients is um, reduces the amount of callbacks um, that they have on their, their mammograms, which uh, brings comfort to the patient and also less radiation for the patient as well. Oh, that's incredible. So how long have you worked for Scripps, Tiffany? I have worked for Scripps since 2005. Mm -hmm. And so I've had the opportunity to see the technology change and be a part of the new technology that Scripps has brought in and allowing us to work with this state-of-the-art state equipment. That's excellent. That's kind of a, a common theme I'm seeing here. Uh, the technologists are listened to by management as to what a technology and what equipment will be best for the patients. So what can, what can you tell me about something that you do uh, to go the extra mile for a patient? Well, when we do these uh, diagnostic mammograms, the radiologist is able to look at their images right away. They get their results. So if they have a concern or a lump or anything that's going on with them, they get their results from the radiologist so they do not have to wait or come back on another day. So that's very reassuring to the patient. That's excellent, that's excellent. Uh, what do you feel is special about the culture at Scripps? Well, we offer um, this wonderful technology in this spa-like experience. Mm -hmm. So not only is it treating them physically, it's treating the, the mind, the body, everything as well. And just allowing this uh, to occur in this spa-like environment is just something that also eases stress and puts the patient at ease. Completely agree. Thank you so much for your time, Thank Tiffany. You. Um, so Tiffany, what can you tell me about some of the cases that you do in this suite? This suite is for our live fluoroscopy exams where patients drink the barium and we watch their uh, stomach and their intestines or when we put dye in their joints or when we put dye in their bladder. It's state of the art, it's two years old. It's brand new Shimatsu equipment and we really enjoy using it. Excellent. So what is the best part of working for Scripps, would you say? The best part of working for Scripps as a rad tech is they provide us with state-of-the-art mm -hmm. equipment. We have portable machines, surgical equipment, uh, general diagnostic x-ray equipment, and like this, the fluoroscopy equipment. Uh, when we put our suggestions in, Scripps really listens and, and kind of goes with what the rad techs actually prefer. And we enjoy that. It's a it's a good relationship. That that's way. that's excellent because you, everybody wants to be heard by their employer. That's, right. that's excellent. So, what is one thing that you can tell me that you do to go the extra mile for your patients? I've been working for Scripps for 14 years. Awesome. And um, because of that, uh, Scripps gives me the ability to uh, learn some new exams, some new practices, and I can provide that knowledge to my patients. And because I feel really comfortable doing the patient exams on like new equipment mm -hmm. or with the big spaces that we have, I can give personal time to the patients and not just be focusing on using the equipment or what should I be doing next. I, I feel really comfortable hands-on with the patients and they get that extra care from me that way. That's excellent. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Jen Sackbersuth. I'm here with Dr. Amarati. He's a neuro interventional radiologist with Scripps Health. Dr. Amarati, can you tell us about some of the cases that you handle here at Scripps? Yes, no, we handle a lot of uh, neurovascular cases, and actually my department does effectively exclusively neurovascular cases, such as uh, aneurysm treatment, repair, whether uh, ruptured or non-ruptured, uh, stroke treatment, acute stroke treatment for uh, devastating strokes with large vessel blockage, um, vertebral uh, augmentation procedure like broken backs, mm -hmm. like in your spine. Mm -hmm. um, we also do arteriovenous malformations of the brain and the spine, and we do pain procedures such as uh, epidural injection, nerve blocks, uh, spinal cord stimulators. Um, we also do carotid stenting. We pretty much do with all uh, spectrum of neurovascular intervention and spine. That's very impressive. So in these cases, obviously, they're very complex. What do you look for in a, a tech that's going to be working side by side with you? Well, they are, you're right. They are complex cases, effectively, most of them. Um, but um, it, they're also very exciting. 
they're very like uh, challenging both uh, at a technical level and at also a uh, conceptual level so fundamentally what we're looking uh, in techs we hire is mm -hmm. people which are highly motivated they want to draw an environment which is intellectually stimulating not easy to work in but that once you get familiar with it's mm -hmm. actually much more rewarding than um, doing less complex less challenging situations so the people that um, we look for are people which have a high interest in the neurovascular anatomy, in the conceptual um, functioning of the brain and the spine, and they, they want to get involved and they want to be entirely uh, participating in the case, uh, not just at a technical level of passing you the instrument, but also want to understand ahead of the case what we're going to do, why we're going to do something, and they can anticipate effectively what we're doing. Okay, that's very impressive because uh, working with physicians, sometimes you feel like you're not quite part of the team because of the high, higher level of education that you have as a physician. Well, I tell you the truth. I worked with, in the past with several techs and I always take uh, their uh, consideration um, and their opinions into my own planning on what I'm gonna do. It doesn't mean I'm gonna do something somebody suggests uh, necessarily, but I always encourage them to be active participants in the case. So tell me, what do you think, what would you do? Doesn't mean I'm gonna do it, but I want yeah. you to think of what you would do in this situation, because if I think it's something right, I'm actually do it. Yeah. If I think it's something wrong, then I'm, you might learn something from me, and then next time you will know actually what you wanna do. Oh, that's excellent. What can you tell us about the equipment? Because this, this room is incredibly the, this impressive. This particular equipment we um, uh, set up and we started using it uh, a few months ago. Okay. It's probably the newest and most sophisticated uh, machine that Siemens makes. And mm -hmm. Siemens is one of the top makers of neuroendovascular uh, equipment. Uh, it's a biplane room, meaning there is an x-ray. Um, two x-ray uh, machine, fluoroscopic machine that can do like uh, simultaneous acquisitions, which means you can look at something in two different uh, projections at the same time. Diminishing the exposure to the amount of contrast you need to do to have the, the same amount of information. And at the same time, because of all the, the software um, uh, upgrades and um, development that has been in the last years, this machine is able to actually do three-dimensional images in a way that uh, it's unprecedented. Oh, that's excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time. I know you're a busy man, but thank you for spending some time with us. You're welcome, of course. No problem. Now we're in the emergency department at Scripps Mercy Hospital. We're in the CT room, and I'm here with Jesse, who's a CT technologist. Jesse, what can you tell me about your career here at Scripps? Well, my career here at Scripps started as a float tech. I've been to uh, all the other facilities before, finding out I love uh, working at Mercy San Diego. And and why do you why do you love working here so much? Um, the culture. Uh, mm -hmm degree of difficulty, it's challenging at times, and um, just the people I work with, we're, we're a pretty good team. I've heard that quite a bit uh, at walking around here at, at Mercy, that everybody's really into teamwork. Tell a little bit about the equipment that we're looking at here and how you, how you use it in your day-to-day. -day. Well, this is a Siemens uh, 64 slice, I believe, and um, we use this for our traumas, which happens to be next door to my CT scan room. We have a very huge trauma bay, because it is a level one trauma mm -hmm. facility. Um, pretty fast, we do stroke codes, do, we pretty much scan everything from head to toe over here. Mm -hmm. Well, and being in a trauma facility, I'm sure every day is never the same. Correct. Right, right, <laughs> okay. Well, I wanna thank you so much for your time. All right. And, uh Hi, now I'm in the ultrasound room. I'm here with Amanda Rocco, who's one of our incredible ultrasound techs. Amanda, what can you tell us about the equipment that you use here and a day-to-day routine for you? We have a pretty busy department, one of the business, busiest in the script system. So we're go, go, go. Uh, we have GE equipment, which we absolutely love, some of the best in the market. And uh, we have all the options on it, which is really nice. Uh, good for portables, good image quality. So far, so good. We're happy with it. That's excellent. So it sounds to me like the uh, culture here is to ask for your advice when we're purchasing new equipment. Does that, does that sound correct yes, to you? Yes, they do. They take input from all of us, from every level, from entry-level sonographers up to uh, people that have doing this, been doing this a really long time. And they've had like little symposiums where we get together with all the different companies mm -hmm. and we can demo them all. Um, and everybody comes and they serve lunch and it's really nice way for us to uh, all have a say in what kind of equipment we get. That's excellent. So what can you tell us about a normal day in your in your department um, as far as what kind of cases you do? Do you do some pretty high level cases here? We have a 
interesting population of patient here in that we get some really difficult studies, okay. which I feel is very rewarding and very challenging. Um, and I feel like our patients are very grateful for the care that they receive here. That's excellent. So I know you recently graduated from the Employer 100 program, I which I am a member of as well. Yes. So what can you tell us about that? A little bit of the background of the Employee 100 and what your experience was. Uh, Employee 100 was actually a really good experience because I got to learn so much about the organization that you just don't see in like the day to day um grind mm -hmm. of b being in work on the floors interacting with patients every day like all the different things that Scripps um, offers for for employees and how much room and support they really give you for growth in the company if that's something that you're into so that's very that's interesting excellent. yeah that's excellent and that it seems like that's a common theme throughout all of my interviews with employees mm -hmm. um, that Scripps does everything they can to develop their talent from within I really feel that way too yeah. definitely that's excellent this concludes our tour today. Thank you so much for joining us. We've shown you our Scripps La Jolla campus and now Scripps Mercy San Diego. So please write down any questions you may have and have them ready for the event. And please RSVP to the event at the link below. See you soon.